like looking at myself in a mirror. Okay, this is definitely the creepiest thing I've ever done. A mirror that doesn't talk back. You ready, evil twin? Ready. Yes, this is my real face. Or is it? Okay, no, this isn't Mission Impossible, but this is the new iPhone X, and its new facial recognition is on par with some recent science fiction. But how well does it work, and can you fool it? To find out, I've run it through a series of everyday and not so everyday tests, including photos, masks, twins, and even triplets. Test one, everyday use. After you register your face, you just have to glance in the direction of your phone to unlock it. You know it's unlocked when you see the small padlock open on the lock screen. Then you swipe up and you're in. It takes less than a second in most instances, but you do have to look at it or glance down. This doesn't work. Face ID still recognize me when I put on glasses, including sunglasses, and a hat, but not an awesome mustache. Not working. Probably because it didn't watch me grow it over time. In my tests, it also worked with different skin colors and tones. It also works in the dark. Okay, someone turn the lights back on. Test two, photos. Photos can trick more primitive facial recognition systems, like the Galaxy S8. But on the iPhone X, cutouts of my face didn't work, no matter how natural I tried to make them look. Nope, this didn't work either. Test three, mask. But a mask, a real theatrical mask, has depth and detail that a flat image just doesn't. And Apple's sophisticated system uses two cameras and projected infrared dots to measure the depth of your face. So naturally, I had a silicone mask made of my face, like one does. I headed to Complete Sculptor, a New York City store that helps artists learn to make prosthetics and masks. Mark and Sarah applied a lot of goop to my face to make a silicone mold, and after 20 minutes, they had what they needed. Do they look like yeah, Angelina just... Jolie now? Then, three days later, I returned with my very brave colleague, Denise. I applied some makeup to my mask, and Mark fit the mask to Denise's face. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. I think it's kind of like me. It definitely has the same shape and contours as my face. Hold that up. Face ID was more explicit. It did not think it looked like me. Moment of truth. Still locked. Hmm. Yep, unlocked for me. Test four, twins and triplets. But even a piece of rubber artistry as fine as this has nothing on actual DNA. Yeah. Yes. Or DNA times three. We're I brothers <laughs> and triplets, identical ones. According to Apple, the chances that a random person could look at your iPhone 10 and unlock it with their face is one in a million. So while your roommate can't break in, the chances are a lot greater that your womb mate can. Merrill, March 26th. Pam, March 26th. And these three adorable guys proved that. First, I asked Declan to register his face with the iPhone. Okay. And then I asked Cormac and Kevin to come back. Try with you now. And wow. boom! We hacked it! <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, the kids were able to get into the phone. Fraternal twins or siblings that really look alike aren't as likely. Pam and her twin Meryl weren't able to unlock the other's nope. phone. Nothing. So what have we learned here? Face ID is secure, reliable, and easy to use. But if you try to clone yourself, you're asking for trouble. See you in your nightmares.